Another complication that comes here is that absolute safety is not, uh, is not possible. The complicated real issues have to do with acceptance of society of this technology. And without having society accept the technology, there will not be mass production. And what is needed is safety, safety guarantees. And the common wisdom of collecting data will, reach, will hit a wall just by the simple thought experience I shared, uh, I shared with you. And one needs to think about it differently. And this requires a very, very tight collaboration between industry players and regulatory bodies and to have a model in which to engage. And what I show, this RSS model that we made public for the specific reason of creating an effort of standardization, not only for us, but for everyone in this uh, industry. And this type of standardization does not favor our technology. This is across, uh, across uh, the board. In order, to, in order to direct regulators to thinking about what would really be helpful in making society adopt this uh, technology. And second is the economic uh, scalability. You know, with all good intentions, you know, we can create these machines that will be safe, but if there's not going to be economical reason to replace humans on the road, then it will not happen. In the Israeli culture, in the Israeli ethos, it's okay to fail. It's not okay to fail because of negligence, but it's okay to fail because you try to do something ambitious and it didn't work out. It doesn't go against you. So you started a company, you did your best, you failed. Then people say, okay, this guy or woman, they have experience. Next time, let's invest in them for the next time because next time they'll not to do the same mistakes that they have done the first time. So you don't lose face. It doesn't go against you. Another point that was mentioned there that was also new to us is that it's lack of hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Israeli, Israeli culture is flat. It means an employee of mine can come to me and tell me, I think you are wrong in A, B, C. It's okay, this employee will not be fired, maybe even promoted if what, what he, he or she says is, 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 is correct. This lack of hierarchy enables people to speak their mind, which is also turns out to be um, very important when you want, when you want to build a, a kind of a startup ecosystem. So I don't think there's going to be a winner. At the end of the day, it's going to look like aviation industry. If you look at the aviation industries, all airplanes look alike. Now, th th there are two markets for it. One is the mobility on demand in which really you want to have the driver not in the car. So I'm not talking about 90% of the time, we're talking about 100% of the time. There is no driver in the car, and this is the level four, level five. The second market... And cars will look com completely different. You'll be facing each other. You're not, you're not going yeah, this way. Yeah, just passengers. Yes, just you're, passengers. You're passengers. Okay. And this opens up lots of additional verticals like uh, sending content to, to the passengers, understanding what passengers are talking about, their body language, and trying to right. send appropriate content and so forth. Then there is cars that we own. We buy a car, it could be more expensive than the regular cars, but it will have a higher utilization. I can take such a car, drive it to work, mm -hmm. and then send it back home. And then it will take other members of the household. So we'll, I'll need to have, instead of having two, three cars per household, one car would be sufficient. Maybe I'll share this car with my neighbor yeah. because the utilization is, is higher. So th this is where it is going, and this is where the impact, the economical impact, becomes so, uh, so significant. But when, you, when you look at, into artificial intelligence, where this is going in the areas of, of uh, moving people, so we're talking about cars, after cars, we are talking about uh, flying personal aircrafts that, based on kind of the drone technology that can take you from your home to the airport yes. at a cost which is similar to a taxi uh, today, and it's not science fiction. You know, the control theory, the automation that we know how to do uh, today and in the near future can support something like this. That means I can own or travel in a vehicle, in an aircraft without having a, a pilot license. Uh, uh, this, this is where it is uh, going. Uh, drones in, in or, general. Or tunnels. Elon's talking tunnels. Uh, tunnels, yes. Elon has good ideas. Yeah. Um, so, you know, drones in general of, you know, um, shipping uh, packages. You're talking about mapping, which is much more significant than the types of maps that I talk today. Such a drone needs to know where balconies are located because you need to 
provide a package directly exactly. to the front door of, of uh, someone's uh, uh, residence. So you need to map the world at much, much more detailed, not just the roads, but the buildings and, and where are launching pads, where, where you can land. This is the next, uh, the next uh, level.